The sun is our planet's main source of heat. It is also the gravitational force keeping Earth and the other planets in the solar system fixed within their elliptical orbits. All of this is finely tuned to support life on Earth and also just right to support liquid water, the catalyst for life. But what would be the consequences of the sun just suddenly disappearing? Light travels at approximately 671 million miles per hour and therefore it takes sunlight roughly 8 minutes to reach Earth. So when the sun disappears from our sky, it will actually have been 8 minutes since it originally vanished. This darkness will not be complete though. The stars will continue to shine and electricity will continue to be generated, at least for a while. But the planets in the solar system will inevitably go dark some time after the sun disappears. For example, Jupiter, which is about 33 light minutes away from Earth, would be visible for over an hour, about the time it would take for the last rays of sunlight to reach it and reflect back to Earth. The mass of the sun is more than 300,000 times that of Earth, so you would think that if it suddenly disappeared, the instantaneous gravitational vacuum would wreak havoc on the whole solar system. Well, you would be right, except it would not be instantaneous. As Einstein proved in his theory of general relativity, the force of gravity travels at the same speed as light itself. So just as with light, it would take 8 minutes for it to reach Earth. In the event of the sun going out in a puff of smoke, we would stay blissfully ignorant of the looming disaster for 8 minutes. If the sun disappeared, photosynthesis would disappear with it as well. As this is the process by which plants generate food, most small plants would die within a few days. But more importantly, Earth's average surface temperature would drop to 32 degrees Fahrenheit within a week and would plummet to negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit within the first year. Eventually, because of this extreme cold, the surface of Earth's oceans would freeze over, leaving only the depths of the oceans as a last refuge for humans who may have survived. The only source of energy for these rare survivors would come from geothermal vents on the ocean floor. Animals living around these vents today would continue to survive for billions of years as they don't need the light of the sun to live. If the sun vanished, Earth would catapult into the void at its current orbital velocity of 67,000 miles per hour. It would take about 10,000 years for it to travel one light year. The distance to our nearest star, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years. With that in mind, it would take 1 billion years for Earth just to leave the Milky Way galaxy, which is 100,000 light years in length. The Milky Way is home to an estimated 100 billion stars and a billion black holes. It is quite likely that along the way, one of these stars could pull our insignificant planet into its orbit, giving a second lease on life to any beings that survived the journey. And who knows, maybe by that time another form of intelligent life will have emerged from the deep vents of the ocean.